so we're gonna do an unboxing of the um, vac master wet slash dry vacuum so I'll be it's um, opening it and this is uh, something that I <clears throat> I said I wanted for a while now because I really can't think it's a lot of dust and we have a carpet here and this this carpet is normally um probably takes it out and we we would scrub it and hang it out to dry but this wet season and the way our rain coming sometimes see it takes about a week or two for the carpet to dry and then yeah it does take too long so well not the carpet it's actually a what they call an area rug oops yeah so this is the manual and this is the vacuum here that is huge though yeah. so what else anything else come in the box Oh, it's okay, right? I'll try to take this thing out of the way. Right, so these two things also came um, in the box. So I guess we will figure out how they are. He's supposed to know. Right, he said that these are extensions. So let's see what's inside. Oh, that's huge. Okay, so it's this is something hard to assemble. So all the parts come in here. So we we'll take all the parts individually. This seems like an industrial. Um, is it an industrial vacuum though? Because I really didn't realize that it would have been so big. These are the wheels taken out so they have come with the four holes that's the holes I guess that's the vacuum part so it has quite a few parts that is very big I'm now looking at the size of this I I know about vacuums having this but this can't really go much into corners because of the shape of it. I didn't expect this part to be so big. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's very big to, to pull around but at least it's on wheels. So, okay, so it's not um. It's a simple thing to assemble the wheels. Did the wheels screw on? That's too easy. The wheels are screw on. I could imagine the amount of noise this does make. Oh. oh, because I'm saying next thing when you go and walking around with that, you see an arm. Um, I was thinking something a little more petite and woman friend woman friendly but I guess we'll see how this one works. I've always had a concern about the sense of, of a vacuum because I remember using one back in the day. It was an old one, I can't remember where I used it. But the scent, the kickback scent that you would get from the is it the fan area i don't know it always had a weird scent and that scent would affect me so i was not getting exposed to the dust but i was then getting the exhaust from the vacuum and that used to make me feel away like yeah because i have sinus and stuff so let's hope that this does not have that um that issue And I, it seems like it would be in terms of emptying this now. Let's see what the manual says. 
operators man oh this is a 12 gallon did they have any smaller ones So he's gonna um, screw on all the, the the wheels and then we'll come back. Right, so we have the he screw on the wheels there. So it's gonna be easier to move around. Um I was thinking that it probably would I was thinking that it probably would um I lost my train of thought. Yeah. I can't remember what I was saying. So he's gonna screw on the handle. It says double insulation. Okay, right. So let's get to some of the main points about it. The box. The features. I wanted to read the features of the box. Right, so he attached the um what is that again? The head. Um that is the floor nozzle. So this is how it looks here. It's two. Oh we're not seeing. Yeah, so it have two attachments on it. So it have the sweep one and it have the what? This one is for the wet thing. These have little brushes on it. It's two, it's, it could go on two. Extension ones. So he already put on the extension ones on it. I'm looking at it and thinking, I don't know about, like I have double minds about the size of this thing and we have a small space here um, so I'm not sure if yeah and and one thing I don't like is noisy vacuums and I don't know this look like it's gonna be very noisy because of its size right Different parts there. I'm not sure what he's doing. I would usually with the manual, you know, guys like to figure out things on their own. So he's trying to figure out something with this. Right, so you put on the other attachment. And this one is um this is what the wet attachment and he just put on the broom attachment to it. And these parts are the extensions that he put on. So that's why I was saying I find this is kinda big for me to be holding. This thing is bigger than my hand. To be holding and this long big cord, it's very, very big. So not sure if um if we decide to keep it or carry it back but that's how it is um yeah and like i said it's 12 gallons like it said there double insulation i guess that's the pipe where the um exhaust stuff yeah one good thing about it is that it's on wheels so makes it easier to go around and this is the other part that comes with it and this one here so these are the other heads so you can change the um, thing and put them on I guess that's for like the big the big um, clumps of dust and then you have this part to go into um corners and stuff I, 
if we can find just a smaller version of it but he said the smaller versions don't have the wet side and that was what was important for me yeah the the ability to soak up wet stuff so like if i want to scrub the the carpet right in here and then dry it right after yeah so the the capability of drying anything that spill and so on so we'll see if we will keep it or not so we'll see we'll sleep on it and decide if we're gonna keep it um, but it was an interesting surprise thank you babes so he's gonna put on I'm gonna just put it on to hear how loud it sounds. That's how loud. That's yeah, that's quite a lot of noise for in this small room because like I said we we are living in a small space currently. So I think we're going to try to get another one, get it probably exchanged or something, but for the space, yeah, so we don't want to use it to pick up any dust or anything because we're going to carry it back. I guess we have to unscrew back the handle and stuff to get everything packed back in there. But it's really good as in for a big space and like an industrial space. So, yeah, there's the hook thing, babes. You have to twist it right. So, yeah, sorry guys. <laughs> but you would never, oops, but you would never know unless you try it, right? Excuse the noise, we have on the pressure cooker, so I'm gonna try to talk as loud as possible so you can hear me. The pressure cooker is on and the fan is still cooking. Um, yes, so these are the features. I forgot to mention it earlier, so I'm just doing it now. These are the features of the um, vacuum. It says balance top handle design. So that is the handle there, which you would have seen. Large, easy access switch. And the switch was very huge at the top. Built-in accessory hose. That's the hose. And then they have the long 12 feet power cord, which would have been the power cord saw. This is a rugged propylene tank. Um, this part here was the extra large drain so that part will come off those are the wheels i like the fact that they had wheels and they said top casters with tool storage so like right in between they had the little um you could store stuff inside it and it says it easily converts to a blower right on this side okay yes so it says that's the same thing with the accessories the holes, the extension one. This is the crevice tool. We had the floor brush and the um, squeezy muzzle. Cartridge filter. Oh, that thing was a foam wet filter. Okay. And this part would have been the um, utility nozzle. Right? Have you, any of you guys used any type of vacuum like this? And if you have any recommendations for um, well wet dry vacuums, you can let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.